All right, so I'm here with Zing once again. Hello. And uh, we're commentating on the third match in the best of five. It is Trickster versus Ghost Wolf. Ghost Wolf is currently leading the best of five matchups two to zero, winning the first one. What was his lead? Do you remember? Oh, I can't recall at the moment. Well, he's won both matchups. I believe the first one it was ten to two. Ghost Wolf with ten and Trickster with two. And then the last matchup it was uh pretty brutal. It was a uh, oh rough one. It was uh ten to four, wasn't yep. it? Ten to four. So uh we'll see what happens here. Ghost Wolf's been pulling off some uh pretty nice kills and pretty clean no less. Um we'll see what happens. Care to start it up, sir? Here we go. Now, it, it's important to note going into this for the third time, um, you know, Ghost Wolf's got that lead on Trickster, and that's going to play so much into this fight. I mean, we talked about it during Todd and Tootie's match, and it's it's that worry and those nerves. And, I mean, I talked to Trickster briefly between the match or after the last match, and I've got to say, I mean, he sounds a little rattled. He sounds nervous. You know, he sounds like he's trying to convince himself and all that stuff that he can handle this. Mm-hmm. But we'll see what happens. Absolutely, you know. It seemed like Ghost Wolf is definitely getting a little bit more confident in that intermission. The uh, mic was yellow the entire time. And, uh, you know, Trickster is just kind of sitting back and listening. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, we see uh, Ghost Wolf here with his Remington. And I believe... Wait, is Ghost Wolf using the Remington? No, nope, that's the AK-12. No, that's... He's using the AK-12. It's Trickster here with the Golden Remington again. Yep. Now, uh, we've been covering the camos uh, going from match to match, and I've got to say, I'm looking at Trickster on this map, and the yellow headpiece could actually play to his advantage here. It really could. There's so much yellows. There's so many reds. I mean, there are spots where he's going to stick out like a sore thumb, but on this map, I think that's actually going to help him. What do you think? You know, there are some spots, exactly as you said, that he's going to stick out like a sore thumb, and others that he's going to blend right in. It's going to kind of depend where he positions himself. It really is. It's all going to depend on, is he smart enough to realize, well, this is what I'm wearing, this is what I'm up against. Well, I'm very visible here. Is he going to notice that? Is it going to occur to him at all? <laughs> when we see him having made a switch to the MTAR here, it's kind of a risky maneuver on a map like this, I would think. Um, high mobility gun in a map like this where people are going to hole up. Um, we see Ghost Wolf's actually not holding up much here, but he is taking his time and being very careful this time. Um, it's important to note that in the intermission between these matches, um, we talked to Ghost Wolf, we talked to Trickster, as we mentioned, and uh, this is actually a map Ghost Wolf has said is not one of his good ones. This is one of his worst maps, apparently. So, I'm interested to see what happens here. But it's important to note, also, Trickster did say this is a bad map for him, too. So, I'm not quite sure what'll happen. And we see Trickster coming out with the kill there on Ghost Wolf. That I think it, uh, I think pushing up on him. Like, in a situation like that where you've got someone above you, people often try to run away. And I think that is one of the worst moves you can make because all you're doing is just letting their crosshairs slide down your body. <laughs> and what you've got to really do is Trickster had the right idea there. He pushed closer, making it so. Ghost Wolf's crosshairs were sliding up past his head and off of him completely, making him lose that kill. Oh, wow. Ghost Wolf was pre-aiming that corner somehow. Somehow knowing he was coming from there. And it, again, it comes down to luck. Is your opponent going to walk out where you're aiming? Is he not? Well, and then there's the skill of, well, will he react to it? How will he react to it? Oh, beautiful drop shot. Trickster, Trickster with a beautiful drop shot. A little confused there at first, a little sloppy on the kill, but still managing to pull it together. That was beautiful. Oh, Ghostwolf got eyes on him. Be chasing him down right now. 
He is a wolf and he is hungry. <laughs> and Trickster there is trying to decide on which way to approach this from. Ooh, that's the risk you play with that drop shot. You know, your head is going first. Yep, most definitely. And Trickster dropped right into it and let his head get right across those crosshairs as you saw. But uh, it seems like he's definitely hitting his stride in this match. I think it's going to be a lot more even of a matchup. But I've been wrong before, and I'm sure I'll be wrong again. Oh, Trickster with a favorable spawn coming from behind. I guess I was going to expect that. Oh, jump shot. Trickster is snagging the kill there, picking it up off of a jump shot. <laughs> I've got to say, like, I, I love how this map is turning out. This is usually such a slow map for 1v1s. You know, you get the one person hold up and the one person rotating on the other side of the map. And, I, I mean, there's so many ways to rotate this map and work it. You can figure eight across it. It's a giant rectangle, so it's very easy to figure eight across. You can work the bottom end of the map. You can work the top end of the map. There's so many different places to work here and so many different ways to rotate around. Oh, right there. That yellow? Leaf. Oh, wait. That was Macrob's white face. <laughs> that was a no freaking yellow head mask. That was just a white, pale face. And it just goes to show, anything can really reveal you. It's not just that yellow headpiece. I mean, as visible as that is, any sort of revealing of flesh can be truly crippling, and it's why I try to go for the face masks that cover your face, aren't bright, aren't extravagant. And, you know, I always try and play on a black character to make my face mesh in as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as bad as that sounds, it's the truth. It's You've got to consider this as a game. You want to be as hard to spot as possible. Yeah, I think right here, Trix is just getting outranged by that AK. That AK has got natural... Oh, wow, and he brings it closer. And Ghost Wolf with that drop. Such a beautiful kill. Oh, beautiful. But Trickster coming back off that spawn, and we talked about this before. You could rotate around for five minutes, or you could spawn ten feet from him and catch him off guard. You never know which way the fights are going to go, and you have to be ready for that chance for that to happen. Ooh, wow. Trickster trying to go from a jump shot to a drop shot all in one. A beautiful chain of events there, but it did not play out well for Ooh, him. He's got some nice it seems playing. like he keeps, awesome. he, he keeps dropping his head into that shot, and it's what's costing him a lot of his kills here, I've got to say. Mm -hmm. Now, playing against a player like Ghost Wolf, he's going to be expecting this kind of play from people, so... That's not necessarily going to work against... Oh, and a knife at close range. Let's go. Ghost Wolf leading with only one kill. A very close game here. And about to encounter again Ghost Wolf now leading with two kills. Ten to eight. This is the closest matchup we've seen between these two. Trickster has definitely hit his stride in this match. It seems like, honestly, he's not letting his nerves get to him this time. And that is playing off huge on his part. Absolutely. You know, I would kind of like to see Trickster win this one. He seems to be finding his pace and dealing with those nerves and kind of, you know, shutting down Ghost Wolf. Agreed, agreed. I've got to say, I'd be happy if either of them won. It's been a great matchup so far. I'd say if Trickster won this, he definitely earned the victory. He's hitting his stride, but Ghost Wolf, he's still got that 2-0 lead, and those nerves are going to come into play. And the closer the scores are, the more afraid those nerves are going to get. And with Ghost Wolf with his 2-0, oh, he's see. setting the pace right now. He can play it. He's got a one-kill lead, and he can set whatever pace he wants right now. So it's up to Trickster to push the tempo and catch him off guard. It really is, and it's important to say, you know, we've got to keep in mind, if you've got that lead, you control the game. You control what happens in a huge way. You can lay back, you can hide, you can play it safe. And that's something important to remember and keep in mind throughout these fights. And I, I really do hope these members are remembering that. And now it is tied up, 10-10 Trickster and Ghost Wolf. This is going to be an insanely close matchup. We may actually see a draw out of this.
that's just got to be working wonders for Trickster right now. You know, he's a really competent player. He knows he can win. Got to uh, be able to catch Ghost off guard. It's going to be about right now. Most definitely. I mean, he's going to have to catch Ghost off guard, and it seems like Ghost is truly just stacking up on the C Dom side of the map over on blue, uh, the blue walkway. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you know, it's a great move. He's playing it a bit more defensively now. And I think that's what he needs to do right now, is he needs to stack up, take advantage of the fact he's got lead. Ooh, that range of the AK playing in right there. Trickster spawns within Most definitely. feet of where he just died. You know, that is something. Ooh, and Ghost Wolf, wow. Impressive gunning. Ghost Wolf regaining that two kill lead. This could go either way right yeah. now, and it's such a beautiful thing to see. It really is. I'm loving this matchup, and there we go. The time's ticking down now. We can hear a beeping in the background telling us it's getting close to the end. Trickster needs to make a comeback here or it's all over. Keeping in mind, of course, this does not knock him out of the tournament. Oh. He actually has to and lose where does go spawn? three matches. Go spawn from the other side of the map. If Trickster gets this lane... And he looks left. Trickster coming oh, up. Oh, and that is so oh. close to a tie. Oh, wow. That was just phenomenal. Trickster losing by two kills. So, such a close game there. Such a close. That was a game-changing moment. As you can watch right here, Ghost Wolf. He, he gets oh. shot. He's bloody. It was such a close fight right there. It was so close to being a draw that game. That bullet just came so close to his head. That probably could have taken him down. Phenomenal. That definitely could have. It could have gone either way right there, and it went in Ghost Wolf's favor. It was a great matchup, and Ghost Wolf, I've got to say, definitely earned that win. He played it very smart. He was picked out a gun that would be great on that map, and he stuck to it. And uh, all in all, very well-earned win. All right, well, it was uh, good doing commentary on this matchup, and I look forward to the next one. I'm not quite sure who the next matchup will be with, but... We look forward to talking to you all again soon. Bye-bye.